Hi, this is Mo Volans for Tuts Plus, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing how to compress your masters really to MP3 um, in a few different ways and it, with varying degrees of success depending on which method you decide to use. Um, now, if you're mastering straight out of your door, your DAW, um, like this, then you can actually compress straight out of here. So when you go to export, you can choose MP3 and you can choose your bitrate, say you want 320, and you know you can do it straight out of here. The real problem with this is that you know you can't edit it. There are some audio editors that'll edit um, you know, compressed audio, but realistically, once this is done, it's locked in and your MP3 is how it is. So if there's buffers on the start of the end, or you need to put fades in or whatever, or you need to do any editing at all, um, it's really um, a done deal and you can't go back. So this is one option and you know the plus point of this, the, the upside of this is that it's very fast. So if you, you know, you're happy with the way things are or you want a really quick representation, you, you know, you can export MP3 straight out of here and this can be done in Cubase and it can be done in Ableton and everything else. So it is a good way of quickly getting hold of an MP3. I don't do this. What I like to do is once we're mastered, we go down to 16 bit. I'll probably use some dithering to take us down to that 16 bit. And I'm going to bounce this. Uh, I would also turn normalize off, or I may put overload protection on. The reason I do this is because I spent so much time making sure that it didn't clip to zero dB on the limiter. If you were going to put normalize on at this point, it's going to undo all of that work and you're going to go straight up to zero dB. Not ideal. So, 16 bit dithering 44.1 i'm going to go with an offline bounce i'm going to go with overload protection only or in fact let's just leave it off and i would export that i'm going to do it to my desktop and just close all this down make it a bit more compact and bounce it now, i'm not going to make you watch the bounce uh the bounce meter <laughs> um progress bar but i'm going to come back when it's done and then we're going to start looking at the audio and i'm going to show you really the other two ways the more viable ways of uh, converting to mp3. Okay so here's our master open in an audio editor and this is really the reason I like to bounce before I compress so that you can do things exactly like this. So you can then you know trim the start, you can add fades, let's zoom right in, I like to get right in there at the start and apply a fade or whatever. So you've got a little buffer with a fade to zero crossing uh, and then do the same at the end. Um, just grab this very end bit, have a listen to it and fade that out, you know. Um, and obviously by doing this, um, we are just ensuring that the whole thing's as smooth as possible. We probably don't need that much on. So you can, again, just go in and edit and chop some of this off, maybe add a fade. This is not exactly what I'd do, but we can also check it back. Make sure that everything's firing correctly. And you can see we've got that tiny bit of headroom before zero dB, which I always like to have, uh, just ensures that everything is well, be well before clipping. Once you've done that, it, uh, you know, depending on what audio editor you're using, I can flatten all the actions here and just ensure it's ready for saving and then just resave it. And that's something you can't do um, with MP3s, of course. And, you know, if you want to, you can save as an MP3 from here um, or a quick time at least. But what I like to do is use um, a couple of third party products. So uh, let's look at, say, a sound converter. This is something that you can get on the App Store. There's our audio file. OK. And this is really the most straightforward way of creating an MP3. Use a third party product like this that uses a quality um, encoder. If we go into format here, you can see the amount of different formats we can save to pretty much anything you like. And it's really useful um, little app that will just do these huge amounts of, uh, of compression formats. Um, and then we can choose our channels, same as source, sample rate, same as source, encoding, let's go with variable, now let's say we're constant, and we'll go with 320, okay? Then all we do is we drop, drag and drop, we say we want it on our desktop, okay, yes please, and there we go, it's pretty fast process, it's using FFmpeg, so, you know, decent quality encoder. So we know it's going to be pretty good in quality, the only problem here is, 
that when we play it back, you may find that you get some clipping. Now, I don't know if you can see this. There we go. Here's, here's the console readout for my um, UAD Apollo. And you can see that we're clipping, okay? And that doesn't make any sense because we made sure that it wasn't doing that. Essentially what has happened here between the, the uncompressed and the compressed is that we've got some intersample peaks. We've got some clipping introduced. And how's that possible? Well, basically what happens is when you compress, you know, you're reducing the bit rate, uh, you're reducing the headroom, and essentially you can introduce some intersample peaks in the process. And it's really unavoidable if you use this sta this standard sort of encoding. The only real way to get around it is use something like the Codec, Codec Toolbox Manager, Codec Toolbox Manager from Sonox, which uses the Fraunhofer Codec, which is a really high quality codec. And not only that, if we drop it in here um, and we um, export in 320 constant bit rate, exactly the same, and we make sure this clip safe is switched on, and we encode. Let's replace it. That's the one we've just done. What it's doing is it's it's encoding the MP3, but it's also using a trim and it's finding the end user level. So it's reducing, you can see here, reducing the gain level. And what that allows us to do is create an MP3 with no clipping. Now you can see, no clipping. Very clever stuff. Um, and very simple, to be honest with you. And, you know, you know you've got a good codec there, a good uh, transfer, and also that it's not going to clip. So it's done two jobs for you, really. Um, so really three ways there. You can go straight out of your door if you're in a rush. You can use this, uh, you can use this cool little third-party app, which there are a lot of, or you can use something like the uh, Pro Codec, uh, the Codec Toolbox Manager. And to be honest with you, this is £35, from Sonox, total bargain if you ask me. And it does lots of other stuff as well. It does lots of different um, formats and bit rates. It'll do uh, mastered for iTunes, AACs and everything else. So um, it, very, very, you know, well worth the money. Um, and there you go, compressing MP3s, pretty simple subject, but some people tend to get it wrong somehow. Hopefully this will help you avoid the pitfalls and avoid the mistakes you can make and uh, come out with the best sounding MP3s possible. Good luck and uh, thanks for watching.